Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. P.K. Aluwalia from Physics Department, Himachal Pradesh University, Shimla. Today, we are going to talk on module study of two prototype physical models from statistical route, an ideal gas and a collection of n three-dimensional classical harmonic oscillators from paper statistical mechanics. So students, let us see what we are going to learn in this module. We intend to understand the physical importance of the prototype model of statistical physics studied in this module called monoatomic ideal gas model in the development of equilibrium statistical mechanics. Apply the statistical approach to get thermodynamic properties of this prototype model in an exploratory manner without explicit calculation of the number of microstates and further derive equation of state, pressure as energy density and equation of state of an irreversible adiabatic process. Evaluate explicitly a possibility only in ideal cases the number of microstates for an ideal gas consisting of n particles in the asymptotic limit and get an expression for entropy and see the violation of extensive nature of entropy desired by thermodynamics derived for the ideal gas. Derive expression of entropy asymptotically for system of quasi particles resulting from the case of a collection of distinguishable harmonic oscillators of same frequency nu and ponder on the fact why here entropy turns out to be extensive in nature unlike the case of the monoatomic ideal gas. This module has been developed for postgraduate level as per the following subtopics. Classical monoatomic ideal gas and derivation of entropy from statistical route, back of stamp estimation of microstates and ideal gas law, quantum mechanical approach to estimate number of microstates, explicit calculation of number of microstates of an ideal gas and derivation of its thermodynamic properties such as derivation of specific heat at constant volume, derivation of specific heat at constant pressure, change in entropy of an isothermal process, equation of state for a reversible adiabatic change in an adiabatic process, entropy of a collection of n three-dimensional harmonic oscillators. An ideal gas model. In this module, we embark upon calculation of number of microstates of an ideal monatomic gas enclosed in a volume V having total energy E and number of gas particles N so that entropy of the gas may be calculated from the statistical route. N is an enormously large number typically of the order of Avogadro's number making it a fit system to apply statistical methods to understand its behavior. This gas is ideal in the sense that there is negligible interaction among the particles of the gas. In other words, particles of the gas are free to move such that compared to their kinetic energy, mutual interaction potential energy between the particles can be neglected. To say that there is negligible interaction is as good as saying no interaction and is therefore an idealization. In real gases, there is always an interaction. There is, however, a dilemma. If there is no interaction, the speed of the atoms of each gas atom shall be conserved. Therefore, in this case, system cannot go through all possible microstates, violating equal a priori probability axiom studied earlier. So, allowing a weak interaction is desirable, however small it may be. One may prefer to describe such a gas as an ideal gas or a real gas in a dilute limit. Classical monoatomic ideal gas and derivation of entropy from statistical route. We begin by taking a monoatomic gas of n particles. Particles are not interacting so that 
the Hamiltonian of the system has kinetic energy only. We further assume particles to be non-relativistic. The Hamiltonian of the system can then be written as h is equal to sum from i is equal to 1 to n pi square upon 2 m where pi is the momentum of each particle and m is the mass of each particle. The ideal gas is completely isolated from the surroundings and closed in a container with non-conducting walls having a volume V. The energy of the gas system E and volume V stays constant such that E is equal to summation over I N I epsilon I. Since system is ideal that is non-interacting, the total energy E is the sum of the energies of each atom of the monoatomic gas that is capital N is equal to summation over I N I. Back of the stamp estimation of number of microstates and ideal gas law. Slide 11. The ideal gas is completely isolated from the surroundings and closed in a container with non conducting walls having a volume V. The energy of the gas system E and volume V are constant such that E is equal to summation over I N I epsilon I and N is equal to summation over I N I stop. The ideal gas is completely isolated from the surroundings and closed in a container with non conducting walls having a volume V. The energy of the gas system E and volume V are constant such that E is equal to summation over I N I epsilon I and N is equal to summation over I N I. Before we evaluate explicitly the number of microstates, omega as a function of number of particles n, volume v and energy E, which an ideal gas can have, it is possible to estimate this number through some probabilistic arguments. Since gas is ideal and the gas atoms have no knowledge of how other gas atoms are distributed in the container, any gas atom can go anywhere and is independent of the presence of other atoms there. This implies statistical independence that is the state of one atom does not affect the probabilities of other atoms to be in different states. So now we can ask the question how many possible ways are there that the n monoatomic atoms composing the system may distribute themselves spatially in volume v. This shall be equal to the product of the number of ways in which each particle can be placed in the volume V. The number of ways in which these atoms can be placed depends on the spatial extent in which they are allowed to go and this is proportional to the volume V of the container. So, the number of possible ways in which n particles can be distributed is directly proportional to the product of the volume V taken n times that is omega as a function of n, V and E is proportional to v raised to power n or in other words omega as a function of n v and e is equal to constant multiplied by v raised to power n so that entropy of the system becomes s as a function of n e and b is equal to kb log of omega as a function of n v and b is equal to Boltzmann constant multiplied by n log of v plus log of constant where c is a proportional t constant. Recalling p upon t is equal to partial derivative of entropy with respect to volume at constant n and constant e, we have p upon t is equal to Boltzmann constant multiplied by n divided by the volume which is nothing but equation of state of an ideal gas. If n is equal to Avogadro's number, Boltzmann constant multiplied by the number of particles n gives us the gas constant R. So, knowledge of the dependence of omega has yielded the ideal gas equation PV is equal to RT, the famous ideal gas law of thermodynamics. 
Now we will look at quantum mechanical approach to estimate number of microstates. According to quantum mechanics, the single particle energies confined to move in a cubical box of the edge L are discrete and the energy of these particles must satisfy equations 1 and 2. The permissible energy states for which wave function psi must vanish on the boundaries are epsilon is equal to p square by 2m is equal to nx square plus ny square plus nz square multiplied by Planck's constant square divided by 8ml square which is equal to n square multiplied by Planck's constant square divided by 8m v raised to power 2 by 3 such that nx, ny, nz equal 1, 2, 3 and so on. H is a Planck's constant m mass of the particle. Interestingly, the number of microstates which we are looking for is a count omega which is a function of n, epsilon and v of allowed points in three dimensional quantum space of allowed positive integral values of nx, ny, nz satisfying the condition for a single particle nx square plus ny square plus nz square is equal to epsilon multiplied by 8m v raised to power 2 by 3 divided by Planck's constant square. For n particles it amounts to number omega as a function of n, e and v of independent positive integral solutions of summation over i is equal to 1 n i x square plus n i y square plus n i z square is equal to 8 m v raised to power 2 by 3 divided by Planck's constant square multiplied by summation over i n i epsilon i is equal to 8 m v raised to power 2 by 3 e divided by Planck's constant square. At this point we do not need to explicitly estimate this number which we shall do later and still we can do some estimation. One point is obvious the count omega as a function of n e and v must depend upon energy and volume through a form v raised to power 2 by 3 multiplied by e. Therefore omega as a function of n e and v becomes omega as a function of n and v raised to power 2 by 3 multiplied by e. This further implies that entropy should be of the form s as a function of n e v is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by log of omega as a function of n v raised to power 2 by 3 e. From equation 12 a few familiar thermodynamic results follow immediately. For a reversible adiabatic process which requires entropy and number of particles to be constant, it is possible only if v raised to power 2 by 3 multiplied by e is equal to constant. Recalling that pressure is equal to negative of the partial derivative of energy with respect to volume at constant n and s, we have p is equal to 2 by 3 constant multiplied by v raised to power minus 5 by 3, which is equal to 2 by 3 v raised to power 2 by 3 into e multiplied by v raised to power minus 5 by 3. If you simplify it, it becomes equal to 2 by 3 multiplied by e upon v. This proves that pressure is two third of energy density. The results 13 and 14 obtained above are true for a system of non-relativistic ideal classical as well as quantum monoatomic gas. Now we will try to have an explicit calculation of number of microstates of an ideal gas. After having a feel of enumeration of microstates of an ideal gas and its possible functional form on E and V, we proceed further to explicitly count the number of microstates of an ideal monoatomic gas. First of all, for a single particle in a cubical box, let us try to visualize the possible microstates in three dimensional number space with nx, ny, nz as coordinates. It is a discrete space with allowed points represented by the positive integer coordinates. Let us write equation 10 as 
nx square plus n by square plus nz square is equal to epsilon multiplied by 8 m v raised to power 2 by 3 divided by Planck's constant square is equal to say r square where r is equal to square root of epsilon multiplied by 8 m v raised to power 2 by 3 divided by Planck's constant square. Equation 15 represents surface of a sphere of radius r of this dotted quantum number space with only those values allowed which lie in the positive octant of the sphere. A two-dimensional counterpart of the same is shown in figure 1 below. Equation 11 represents equation of a sphere in 3n dimensional space. The surface of the sphere corresponds to surface of constant energy E with a radius square root of 8m v raised to power 2 by 3 multiplied by E whole divided by h square. Omega nve is the number of points lying on the surface of the positive compartment of the 3n dimensional sphere. However, there is a word of caution about this number omega which is a function of n, v and e. Though we will not prove it here, but note that it is not a smoothly varying function of radius r or in other words energy e. This is exhibited by the vast difference in number of dots on two surfaces of 3n dimensional sphere whose value of radius lies very close to each other. However, the function phi which depends on n, v and e which corresponds to the number of microstates in the positive part of the 3n dimensional sphere having energy less than e turns out to be a smooth function of radius which is square root of 8 m v raised to power 2 by 3 e divided by h square and asymptotically shall be equal to the volume of the positive compartment of the 3n dimensional sphere. As we derived the volume of a sphere in 3n dimensional space while discussing the properties of hyperspaces. Phi n v e is equal to volume of the positive compartment of the 3n dimensional sphere. Phi as a function of n v and e is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to power 3 n multiplied by volume of the 3 n dimensional sphere with radius square root of 8 m v raised to power 2 by 3 multiplied by e divided by Planck's constant square. That is phi as a function of n v and e is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to power 3 n multiplied by pi raised to power 3 n by 2 divided by 3 n by 2 factorial multiplied by 8 m v raised to power 2 by 3 multiplied by e divided by Planck's constant square raised to power 3 n by 2 which on simplification becomes equal to v upon h cube raised to power n multiplied by 2 pi m capital E raised to power 3 n by 2. Taking the logarithm and applying Stirling's formula since n is greater than or equal to 1, we have. Therefore, log of phi as a function of n, v and e is equal to n log of v upon h cube multiplied by 4 pi m e upon 3 n raised to power 3 by 2 plus 3 upon 2 multiplied by n. Once again, it is emphasized omega as a function of n, v and e is not the same as phi is a function of n, v and e. And the crucial part is how we connect the two. Since we need to count the number of microstates omega as a function of n, v and e. So once again we revisit the constraint that the system has a precise value e. Is it physically possible? And the answer is no. Because system cannot be completely isolated. We shall always find that energy shall lie in an interval about e within the limits e plus half delta and e minus half delta with delta very very much less than e. So from 19 we can always find the number of microstates around e in the interval delta which can be treated as equal to omega as a function of n, v and e number of microstates. Therefore omega as a function of e, n and v 
is approximately equal to partial derivative of phi with respect to e multiplied by delta is equal to 3n by 2 multiplied by phi as a function of n e n b multiplied by delta upon e or log of omega as a function of n e n b is equal to log of phi as a function of n e n b plus log of 3n by 2 plus log of delta upon e or log of omega as a function of n e n b is equal to n log of v upon h cube multiplied by 4 pi m e upon 3 and raised to power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 n plus log of 3 n by 2 plus log of delta by e. Now, if you take in the last two terms n as common, then you find that this can be written as log of omega as a function of n e and v is equal to n log of v upon h cube multiplied by 4 pi m e raised divided by 3 n raised to power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 n is equal to n multiplied by 3 by 2 log of 3 n by 2 divided by 3 n by 2 plus n log of delta by e divided by n. In equation 23, let us focus on the last two terms. n is very large. Asymptotically, n approaches infinity. Third term and fourth term approach 0, reducing 23 to log of omega as a function of n e and v is equal to n multiplied by log of v upon h cube multiplied by 4 pi m e upon 3 n raised to power 3 by 2 plus 3 upon 2 n. Look and behold, 24 is the same as 19. So, it can be stated that whether we count number of microstates from 0 to e or count them in a very small interval around e, it hardly matters. We are ready to write down the entropy of an ideal gas using S is equal to k log of omega as follows. S is equal to n k b log of v upon h cube multiplied by 4 pi m e upon 3 n raised to power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 n k b. This is a result of great consequence which has a problem that it is not extensive as it should be resolution of which we shall take up later in the next module. But it takes us much further in deriving thermodynamic properties of an ideal gas. Thermodynamic properties of an ideal gas. Equation 25 can be solved for E as a function of entropy, number of particles and volume as given below. That is, E is equal to 3 h square n divided by 4 pi m v raised to power 2 by 3 exponential of 2s upon 3n kb minus 1. Knowing that t is equal to partial derivative of energy with respect to entropy at constant n and constant b, we find t is equal to 3h square n divided by 4 pi m v raised to power 2 by 3 multiplied by exponential of 2s upon 3n kb minus e multiplied by 2 upon 3n kb which is equal to 2e upon 3n kb or e is equal to 3 by 2 n kb t is equal to 3 by 2 n upon n a multiplied by n a kb t where n a is Avogadro's number equal to 3 by 2 n r t where n a is Avogadro's number r is gas constant and n is the number of moles of the gas. From equation 28, we can get specific heat at constant volume, equation of state of an ideal gas and specific heat at constant pressure. Let's look at specific heat at constant volume. We know that specific heat at constant volume is partial derivative of internal energy with respect to temperature at constant n and v, which is equal to 3 by 2 capital N multiplied by Boltzmann constant. The equation of state can be easily derived. Recall, P is equal to negative of the partial derivative of energy with respect to volume at constant N and S, which is equal to 2 upon 3 
into 1 upon b multiplied by 3 Planck's constant square multiplied by capital N divided by 4 pi m b raised to power 2 by 3 multiplied by e raised to power 2s upon 3 n k b minus 1 which is equal to 2 upon 3 e upon b which is equal to n Boltzmann constant into t divided by b. Specific heat at constant pressure can now be derived very easily. We know Cp is equal to partial derivative of E plus Pv with respect to temperature at constant N and P, which is equal to partial derivative of N multiplied by 5 upon T Boltzmann constant into T with respect to temperature at constant N and P, which is equal to capital N multiplied by 5 upon T multiplied by Boltzmann constant is equal to 5 upon 2 into number of moles multiplied by the gas constant. From equation 29 and equation 31, we get ratio of specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume, gamma is equal to 5 upon 3. Once again, a correct result. Change in entropy under isothermal condition. Let us try to calculate it. Under isothermal conditions, T stays constant, N stays constant, E stays constant. It is volume which changes, say, from initial volume Vi to Vf. Therefore, Si is equal to N Kb log of Vi upon H cube multiplied by 4 pi M E upon 3 N raised to power 3 by 2 plus 3 upon 2 N Kb. And Sf is equal to N Kb log of Vf upon H cube 4 pi M E upon 3 N raised to power 3 by 2 plus 3 upon 2 N Kb. And hence, change in entropy from equation 32 and 34 is SF minus SI is equal to NKB log of VF upon VI. In the case of reversible adiabatic change, a reversible adiabatic change implies S is equal to constant and T is equal to constant. Then according to equation 26, E is proportional to V raised to power minus 2 by 3. And therefore, according to 28, T is proportional to v raised to power minus 2 by 3. Then according to 30, p is equal to n k b t upon v is proportional to 1 upon v raised to power 5 by 3 or p v raised to power 5 by 3 is equal to constant, a result matching with thermodynamics. Entropy of n three-dimensional classical harmonic oscillators. Let us now discuss a problem of n three-dimensional classical harmonic oscillators each with frequency omega and total energy E treated as distinguishable. That is, as if each particle executing harmonic oscillation is sitting on a lattice identifiable with the lattice point tag. The Hamiltonian of this set is given by H is equal to summation over I is equal to 1 to 3 N Pi square by 2 M plus M omega square Qi square divided by 2. This problem involves 3n position coordinates and 3n momentum coordinates, which can be transformed into a problem of combined 6n coordinates by a suitable change of variables as given below. That is, pi is equal to square root of 2m multiplied by xi, i going from 1 to 3n, and qi is equal to square root of 2 upon m omega square, x 3n plus i, i is equal to 1 to 3n. Equation 40 then becomes H is equal to summation over I is equal to 1 to 3n over xi square plus x3n plus i square is equal to summation over I is equal to 1 to 6n xi square. In terms of new variables, energy condition becomes E is equal to summation of an I is equal to 1 to 6n xi square. To count the number of microstates, we need to go in two steps. Number one, calculate the volume in phase space of dimensionality equal to 6n over a region satisfying the energy constraint. We call it gamma En. This is a volume of 6n dimensional sphere with radius r is equal to square root of E. Divide this volume by volume of quantum cells in phase space allowed by uncertainty principle equal to h raised to the power 3n 
to calculate the number of all possible microstates omega e n. The volume then is given by gamma e n is equal to integral over i is equal to 1 to 3 n product of dpi dqi. Since dpi is equal to square root of 2 m dxi and dqi is equal to square root of 2 upon m omega square dx 3 n plus i, dpi dqi can be written as equal to 2 upon omega dxi dx 3 n plus i so that phi e n is equal to 2 upon omega raised to power 3 n multiplied by integral over 6 n coordinates of x i which is equal to 2 upon omega raised to power 3 n multiplied by pi raised to power 3 n divided by 3 n factorial multiplied by e raised to power 3 n as was done in the case of ideal gas. We need to compute the volume corresponding to an energy shell of thickness delta E which is phi as a function of E n and delta E can then be written as equal to delta E multiplied by partial derivative of phi with respect to E is equal to 2 upon omega raised to power 3 n multiplied by pi raised to power 3 n divided by 3 n minus 1 factorial multiplied by e raised per 3 n multiplied by delta e upon e. For large n and by using Stirling's approximation, we obtain entropy S e n is equal to k b log of phi e n delta e divided by h raised per 3 n approximately equal to 3 n k b multiplied by log of 2 pi e upon 3 h bar omega n plus 1. An interesting observation about this result is that unlike entropy, in the case of an ideal gas, entropy of this system of n classical harmonic oscillators, entropy is extensive. Let us now calculate temperature for such a system of harmonic oscillators. Recall, 1 upon T is equal to partial derivative of entropy with respect to energy at constant n, which is equal to 3 n k b upon E. This result is in accordance with law of equipartition of energy per oscillator equal to 3 kb multiplied by the temperature. So students, let us now summarize what we have learnt in this module. In this module, we have learnt the application of statistical physics to a monoatomic ideal gas and discuss the thermodynamic properties of the ideal gas derived from the calculated entropy using the methodology of counting the microstates in asymptotical limit. That monoatomic ideal gas is a system of negligibly interacting particles with kinetic energy overwhelming the negligible interaction among the particles. That in the case of monoatomic gas of n particles, the number of microstates omega as a function of n, e and v is proportional to v raised to power n that quantum mechanically microstates of a monoatomic ideal gas can be visualized as dots in points in 3n dimensional quantum number space with each dot having quantum number coordinate space nx1, ny2, nz3 and so on up to nxn, nyn and nzn which need to be counted subject to two constraints. E is equal to summation over i n i epsilon i and capital N is equal to summation over i n i. That because of the property of 6 n dimensional hyperspace, the total number of microstates within a radius of square root of E of the 3 n dimensional quantum number space is asymptotically equal to the number of microstates in a thin shell of thickness delta E around E and is enough for the calculation of accessible microstates. That the entropy of an ideal gas calculated by this procedure has a physical flaw of entropy S no longer turning out to be an extensive quantity which needs to be fixed. That entropy calculated by statistical method correctly reproduces thermodynamic properties of a monoatomic ideal gas as listed in the table. Property of the ideal gas Specific heat at constant volume Cv is Cv is equal to 3 by 2 n Boltzmann constant. 
equation of state P is equal to N K B T by V. Specific heat at constant pressure C P is equal to 5 by 2 N capital R. Ratio of specific heat at constant pressure and constant volume gamma is equal to 5 upon 3. Change in entropy under isothermal conditions S F minus S I is equal to N Boltzmann constant log of V F upon V I. Reversible adiabatic change implies PV raised to power 5 by 3 is equal to constant. Same procedure as followed in the case of monoatomic ideal gas can be applied to a collection of n independent harmonic oscillators in an analogous manner with suitable transformation of coordinates yielding an extensively correct form of entropy and yielding energy per oscillator equal to 3 kBT in accordance with law of equipartition of energy. Thank you.